What is up YouTube friends? Today I am filming a recipe for you guys and I'm also going to show you how to log it into MyFitnessPal because I know MyFitnessPal can be super confusing sometimes especially when you're um, trying to track a recipe that you make at home. So that's what I'm going to do for you guys. So the recipe is going to be my famous, according to my husband, meatloaf. This recipe happens to be extremely low carb and it's considered an all protein meatloaf. And that's because instead of using um, all breadcrumbs or all um, panko, anything like that, we're going to use pork rinds. And that sounds scary, but you can't taste it at all. It actually makes it super, super moist. And um, just a little bit of um, wheat crackers also. So it's it's the whole recipe makes four servings, and each serving only has five carbs. So it's super good for a low-carb day or if you're um, on a low-carb diet or whatever. It's awesome. So let's get right into it. You're not the only one who feels like this. Feeling like you lose more than you win. Like life is just an endless hill you climb. You try and try, but never arrive. I'm so first thing I did was chop up some onions. This is um, just diced sweet onion. It's 40 grams. That's all you really need. You don't need a whole lot of onions or else it'll overpower the recipe. And then this is 15 grams of these wheat crackers. I got these at Aldi. And then it is 25 grams of these pork rinds, just the original kind. And it's 25 grams and I just um, crushed them up and, and that is what is going to bind the meatloaf together along with the eggs, of course. So for this meatloaf, I use 93.7 ground turkey breast, and I use 24 ounces of it. It's quite a lot. And keep in mind, this is four servings, so one serving is actually quite large. And then what I'm going to do is just add in the pork rinds and crackers, and then also the onions. I underestimated how much they would be, so I had to move to a different bowl. But after you put the breadcrumbs, or the um, pork rinds, and the cracker crumbs, and the onions in there, then we're going to use this tomato paste I got at Kroger, and it only um, calls for 4.5 ounces, so you don't use this whole container, you just use 4.5 ounces of it. Next I'm going to slice up two slices of this center cut bacon. I bought this at Kroger too, but there's also an Aldi brand, and the Aldi brand has better macros than this. This, you get two pan-fried slices, are 4.5 grams of fat, 0 grams of carbs, and 5 grams of protein. And I think the Aldi version, you get three slices. So we're just going to do two slices of this, and I'm going to put it in there raw because it'll um, cook with the meatloaf in the oven. Next thing I did was add two whole eggs and that helps it bind a little bit better. And then I'm going to add one tablespoon of this ketchup and then just eyeball how much I want of this mustard. And then one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And then it's about, honestly I don't measure these out, I just kind of put them in there however I much I want to season them. So. I guess it's really honestly up to you. I don't think it matters that much, but probably like a tablespoon of garlic salt, a tablespoon of chili powder, and half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of pepper. I don't know. Just eyeball it. It's not really that big of a deal. Okay, so I mixed it all up. It's in the pan. If you guys don't have this type of meatloaf pan, I highly recommend it because this actually lifts out of there. So instead of the meatloaf being just sitting in the grease and the fat and everything, it drains down underneath here so that when you pull it out, all of the grease and the fat is left at the bottom. And it's also super easy to take out. So I recommend that. And then for the top, I'm going to do what I usually do for me and my husband is we split this. So he has two servings and I have two servings. So what I usually do is I split it in half, and on ha one half, on my husband's half, I'll just put regular ketchup, about a tablespoon, on his side. And then for me, I use my favorite reduced sugar ketchup, so that, because this only has one carb, so it just saves you a little bit of carbs. It's more expensive, but I literally put it on everything, so. And then we're going to pop it in the oven, and it goes in the oven at 400 
for I think 45 minutes? Check it, but I'm pretty sure it's around 45 minutes. Okay, so why that is in the oven, why that is in the oven, I want to explain how I log that into my fitness pal. And then after it comes out of the oven, I'm going to um, weigh the whole thing and then plug that in and then weigh out how much my serving is. So I'll show you guys that. First of all, just how to log the recipe. So I apologize, I already have everything logged in here just because I make this recipe literally all the time. But I'll show you how I went in here. Oops, okay. Okay, so you're on your home screen of your MyFitnessPal. You want to go down here to More, and then it'll say Meals, Recipes, and Foods. Click on that. And then down here it says Create a Recipe, and then Enter Ingredients Manually. So title it, whatever you want. And then for number of servings, put four. If, if you're going to have four servings, like my recipe has four servings. Okay, so that's what you do. And then you'll go in here and then you'll go in there and you add all, all the ingredients. But since for time's sake, since I already did mine, once you put your name and your number of servings, it'll um, bring you a page to a page that says add ingredient. So what you'll do is you'll add all your ingredients individually. And um, something that I always recommend doing is weighing your meat out in ounces. And since it's raw, all I did was scan the barcode of the ground turkey and I typed in 24 ounces. And then scanned the bag of the pork rinds and logged 25 grams. And then same for everything else. And um, mainly for everything you want to log in ounces or grams. Grams is um, what I usually do. But for the center cut bacon, I didn't do grams. I just did um, the, well, it's supposed to be two. I did the two slices and then the one tablespoon of ketchup, um, just the regular ketchup that I actually put in the meatloaf. I didn't track the ketchup that I put on top of it and then the two eggs. So once you get everything in there, and you don't have to um, add in your garlic salt and your Worcestershire sauce because they have zero, well the Worcestershire sauce has 15 calories, but you don't have to do your seasonings. Those are pretty irrelevant. Okay, but then you go to next and then it'll show you the macros for your four, four servings. So this has 377 calories, 18.6 grams of fat, 6 grams of carbs and 40 grams of protein per serving. So I guess I lied. I guess it's 6 carbs instead of 5. But that's because of that um, 1 tablespoon of ketchup that I added in there. I hadn't added that in, in there before. But it's 1 carb difference in what I said. So we're good. And then you just hit save. And then when you go to log it into your diary, you go to diary and then go down to, I already have it logged in here, but let's do this. So you go to add food and then you go down right here to meals, Oop, nope, you go to recipes and then it'll be right here at my all protein meatloaf recipe and then you log in one serving. And then it'll pop up right there and that's all you gotta do. This is where you can add it by weight. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you guys once it's cooked. I'll weigh it cooked. So let's do... Okay, so here for serving size, you want to put your serving size is one serving. Oh no. So here for serving size, that's where you'll, where you'll log how many grams your entire meatloaf weighs. And then for your number of servings, you want to put one serving. And I'll explain that why after the meatloaf's done and it comes out. But let's just do, for example, let's say this meatloaf weighs... 500 grams. So then you log it as being 500 grams. Go here to next. And then you can add your calories, your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. So how you do that is you go here to your recipes. 
and then you take all of these numbers and you multiply them by four since there's four servings and you, you're logging the weight as one serving. So you'll take all of these numbers times four and then log them in your food. And like I said, I'll show you guys how to do that so it makes a little bit more sense once my meatloaf is done. 45 minutes later, it is done and it looks so good and I'm so ready to chow down on it. This is what the finished product looks like. I'm gonna pop it out of the pan and I'm gonna weigh the whole thing in grams, how much it is, and then I'll show you guys how to plug that in. Okay, so the whole loaf weighs 900 and it was at 50. So I'm gonna put 950 grams. Okay, so what you do, it's like I showed you earlier, you go in here and I put all protein meatloaf, meatloaf, so then you type in 950 grams because that's for, we're weighing it for the whole thing, or we're putting it in there for the whole thing. Then you go here, and then like I said, you look back at your recipe that you made, and it's 377 calories, but there's four servings. So since we're doing it for the whole thing, that's 1508 calories. For carbs, that is, I cheated and I saved it. 26 carbs for the whole thing. There is 162.4 grams of protein. And then for fat, there's 74.4 grams. That's for the whole thing. So then, you save it. No thanks. So then there's your food, okay? So then, oops. Then you go back into your diary. And if you just want to keep it as just your recipe, you can keep it as that. But if you want to weigh out how and be super accurate and um, how much your actual portion size is, then you go here. You go to my foods. There's your meatloaf. And then it'll come up, and the serving size will be 960 grams. So you change that to 1 gram. And then when, once I um, get my portion size out of this, which makes 4 servings, then I will weigh that one piece, and I will um, type in here how many grams that one piece is. Okay, so I didn't even plan that, but it came out, my serving size, came out to be 219 grams. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is a huge freaking piece of meatloaf. And for only six carbs, this is an awesome, awesome recipe. So now it says 220, but whatever. So then I'm gonna come here. And I'm just gonna change. And I'll just change my serving from 250 to 220. That makes it 6 grams carbs, 17 fat, and 38 grams of protein. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that made some more sense about how to use MyFitnessPal, how to log a meal that you've made at home, and I know it can be time consuming and kind of annoying to have to log every single thing that you put in the recipe, but it can be fun too. I think it's fun. Maybe I'm just weird. But that's how you do it if you want to be accurate and if you want to know exactly the nutrition um, for the meal that you've made. And um, like I showed you, there are two ways to do it. You can either log it as a recipe or log it as a food and weigh your actual portion size in grams, which is what I'd like to do more times than not, just because I like to be accurate. Just because I can, not because I'm, I'm super anal about my macros or anything like that. I just like to be accurate. So... Hope you guys like this video, and I hope you like the recipe. If you try the recipe, recipe, please let me know, and let me know how much you love it. So um, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.